we hear about the word of God. Yes. Somebody said it was God's word that brought me in. Amen. God's word brought me in. Amen. And I'm so grateful tonight. It's a privilege and it's an honor to introduce to you that know him. I know most of y'all do. And maybe some of you that don't, that are listening in, our pastor of this assembly, the Church of Jesus Christ, Bishop Hubert Phillips. Let's receive by saying, thank you, Jesus. 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 Bishop Phillips. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good for this Bible revival. Amen. Hey, it's good for the subject we're going to use tonight. Hey, you can learn from it. Praise the Lord. And while you're learning, and so you may know it, amen, know some certain things in the Word of God. But we're going we're gonna to learn together. Amen. That amen. many don't know. Amen. 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 But the Word of God comes to stir by good, my mind, our minds. Amen. Yes. A bishop being have taught this Bible class years ago. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we don't mean you learning nothing new. These, the Bible is the same Bible that we read two years ago, three years ago, the same word. Those words have not changed. But how we get more and more knowledge in it? It's a brighter day. As the day go by, it's a brighter day. And God will show you more and more in His Word. You will increase His Word in your heart. I thank God for that. Praise the Lord. Uh, all things work together for the good. Huh? For who good? For our good. All the things work together for the good. God did everything for mankind. Remind us of the uh, Old Testament when men did wrong and when man did right. And the benefit, the blessed, the blessed benefit is those that done right unto God. Amen. What God called wrong is wrong. What God called right is right. Amen. Amen. And, and when you can be blessed, just do that which is right. right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do that which is right. That's what Bishop Bain said for years. But it's in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. It's, it's in the Word of God. Some people think that it's just, <coughs> just a sin. Amen. No, it's just not a sin. It's God's Word. Praise the Lord. In God's Word. Thank God for that. And uh, uh, tonight, we're going to look at uh, a verse, Hebrews, in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 5. All right? Hebrews. We're going to let you know who God left in charge. <clears throat> of this earth. Who God left in charge of it. Alright. Uh, Alright. Uh, the band is cold. Let me read you. Chapter 2. Thanks the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 5. Uh -huh. For until the angels, uh -huh. as he put not put in subjection, uh -huh. the world to come, right. where are we speak. Now, where are we speak? He didn't put the earth in the hands of angels. angels never did it. He never gave Satan, right? He never gave Satan, Satan, Satan. Jesus bowed down before me. Why Jesus didn't bow down for Satan? Why he said, he's given to me. That was Satan said. Who shall I give to you? Or uh, give unto him or anybody. Well, bow it down, worship me. He shall be yours. All right. Did Satan tell the truth? No. Like, right. He didn't tell the truth. He lied. He's the father of all. He defied the whole lie. All and the truth is not in him. God never said that. You got, we got to watch Satan. Keep your eyes on Satan. Amen. He's crooked. 
You think it sounds right. Think sounds right, but it's not right. Who God put in put in this world? God did not put the word to come in the hands of an angel. And Satan is an angel. So, who did God put the hands in this world in the hands of? Adam in the beginning. Right, in the beginning, but he didn't put it in Adam. Put it in Jesus. That's right. He didn't put it in Adam because of cover. God can't stand a corner, a corner man, a corner person. Don't they person think he didn't get anything from God being a corner person? You gotta be spiritual minded. Praise the Lord. You got to be Jesus. Praise the Lord. Adam's son. Yet Jesus. Adam was God's son, Amen. but he was a kind of man, earth, earthly. That's what he was. Amen. Of the earth and earthly. He can never be he could never be saved. Uh, how can he never be saved? Well, well, how God gonna save him? God can save who he wants to save. Amen. Pray God. He, he understood Adam when he couldn't be saved. He made Adam such that way. He made Adam that way, that he would be lost. But God made a way for Adam to be saved. We'll talk about that later on. Praise the Lord. Yes. All right. Um, uh, in, Re in Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. All right, three. Revelation chapter twelve. <coughs> now you already understand that the devil was a liar from the beginning. He was a liar. We told the I told the angels. Uh, Hear him. I'm going to make you this. I'm going to make you that. You're going to have victory on that. That was a lie. See, see that, that's what Satan He lies and tell lies. That's what he does. Lie and tell lies. A lie upon a lie. Praise the Lord. You can't believe nothing that Joker say. <laughs> You gotta know who your deceiver is. Mm -hmm. He is your He don't like you. Mm -hmm. Because God said, Satan going to, going to hate you for whose sake? Mm -hmm. His sake. Mm -hmm. And you say you're the son of God, you already picked the fight. When you when you say you're the son of God or the daughter of God, you already picked the fight. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to start the fight, the fight was already started before you. <laughs> The devil gonna start the fight. Don't you worry about who who, who started it. Praise the Lord. The devil's when you said you're saved, that's a, that was enough for the devil. And he gonna come at you and I. And he ain't not playing. He ain't playing. Not, he don't want to knock you out. He want to kill you. Mm -hmm. And steal. So, so it, it, that want to steal you from God. He want to kill you. He'll cause you to get away from God so far, and he'll cut off the tree limb that you can fall and die. That's his. That's his plot. To kill you, not to hurt you. That to injure you. Oh, I can injure you, but. So you can bring somebody else out to help you. That's what they do in the military. The enemy sometimes want to injure you, get another person to help you, or another, or two or three people to help you. They want one person and injure you, but they, but they thought it. I'm going to kill that joke. I'm, I'm going to kill that person. That's just hard. That's what it's hard as that. I don't want them to live. Anything wrong to Jesus, I don't want to see them living. 
All he waiting on the opportunity to kill and to deceive. All right. Uh, verse 8. Revelation. Revelation chapter 12. Chapter 12. Verse 1 through 8. Right, 1 through 8. And there appeared a great wonder. <coughs> now that, that appeared a great, a great wonder, wonder in heaven. <coughs> a woman clothed with the sun. A woman clothed with the sun. And the moon under her feet. And the moon on her feet. And upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Twelve stars upon her head. Who is it? Who is this woman? Sarah. 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 And who was the next woman? A Mary. Mary. It's two women. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You gotta understand this, but this great wonder. But a uh, go on, read, read. And she being with child cried. Now she being with child, what happened? She cried, travailed in birth. He revealed in birth. Who is that? Yeah. Well, you're the ba baby Jesus. Yeah. Revealing in birth. Uh -huh. From his woman. Pain to be delivered. And now he will struggling to be delivered. Because she prayed it with him. Alright. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He being delivered. What happened? And there appeared another <coughs> wonder in heaven. There appeared another one in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. A great red dragon. Having seven heads. Seven heads. And ten horns. And ten horns. And seven crowns upon his head. And seven crowns upon his head. Praise God. The great dragon, you know who the great dragon is. You know what a dragon looked like. Some people say it's mythical. It was never a dragon. Like, do you believe that? In the Bible said with the dragon was the dragon. That we Satan was called a dragon. Because the serpent was a snake also. You gotta believe the Bible say. Because you haven't seen one. That don't mean it was not one. Praise the Lord. Because that teacher's always told us in school, it's only a mythical thing. But in China, the dragon stand for China. Why that as a symbol for China? It's for real. The dragon is for real. Praise the Lord. All right, go on. Verse number four. Right. And his tail drew the third part of the stars right. of heaven. Oh, heaven. His tail drew the third part of heaven. The stars of heaven. The stars of heaven. He grew them, he took them out. And those angels are in the bottom of the pit, in the lake of fire, right now, until this very day. They're not out wondering somewhere. No, no. What is out wondering? Satan got something out wondering. Yeah. The angel is angel bound. Yeah. What out wondering? Spirits. Yeah. Spirits. Spirits. Yeah. Spirits. Yeah. Spirits. Yeah. Spirits. 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 Yeah. 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 Demons. Some would know what you call it. Demons. Praise the Lord. Demons are real. 
and they desire to kill you too. When you've seen the Bible, but the frogs in the Bible, they're flies, they're all demons. Praise the Lord. And they do have power. Don't think they don't. Yeah, God got greater power than them. Yes, God got greater power. Amen. Greater. Greater power. Even the devil, even the devil is, is, is not over this world. But you gotta know, you gotta know one thing: somebody is Lord over the devil. Amen. Amen. The God we serve Sir. is over the devil. Everybody. Don't don't fear the devil. Amen. Don't be scared of the devil. Amen. I know I'm not. I can't be. I'm a man of God. I cannot be that. I went down here, down here on North Hudson Avenue, and cast out the devil in his, his sister's house. Some people had that experience, but some haven't had any experience yet. Bishop Tommy didn't have that experience until <clears throat> years later. He wanted, he wanted that his spirit. Lord, bless me to get that spirit. Our ministers keep talking about they have demons, fighting the demons. I, I haven't had that experience. But he did. That devil came to break bright daylight and turn his bed over. He didn't see it. Couldn't see it. He was a demon. Everybody have had that experience. Some hell. I had to fight that demon down there in the house. Woo! Push me back in the in that room. Woo. And I had to stand there and fight him. The bars were just bars in that room. My God, I stood there in the middle of that room, my God. That devil is real. And his helpers are real. Yep. Bishop Phil. Yes. Praise the Lord. Didn't Jesus' disciples, his apostles, when they saw Jesus walking on the water, didn't they think he was a ghost or spirit? He wasn't no ghost. He wasn't no spirit. Walking on the water. He's a human being, just like you and I. Yeah, we knew that. I'm talking about what they thought. Oh, they thought he was. They thought he was mm -hmm. a ghost or a spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they thought that. Thank <clears throat> God for giving us the knowledge, helping us out showing us the dangerous things around us every day mm -hmm. but God keep these things from us mm -hmm. God open up open, open our eyes God we'll see things name. that we don't need to see yeah. God is protecting us Thank you, man. so he don't want us scared or let us be afraid he let us know don't be afraid of the chair by night. Amen. Amen. He that work in the in the night of uh, in the night a rule of darkness. We cannot be afraid of those things. They, that's the that word of the terror. The devil want to describe himself as a terror, but we know the devil is handsome. The most handsome and angel in the world. Walk through the stones of fire. Mm. That's angels. <clears throat> when he walk through the stones of fire, and, and man, that, that, that devil got some power, and he handsome, mm. man, like look like Absalom. <laughs> Absalom was, was beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> David's son, man, that, that joker was beautiful, but crooked. Wicked. God blessed him so. You be, be the archangel. Pretty. Brilliant. The knowledge of him. Brilliant. The devil, devil got knowledge. Don't think the devil don't have it. He have to see many, many and many preachers. 
been deceived and died. Don't think that the devil don't care how long you say you say. All that devil want to do catch you when you're going out of here. Just catch you. Just go. Why are you going out? Catch it. And that you need to think about nothing but leaving. But living. That's all on your mind. Believe it. You ain't ready to die. <coughs> when you catch somebody with you, with the guard down, just that time when you believe the word. He got it. He knew how to fish. The man been fishing for years. He knew how to deceive. And he never knew how to do that. Praise the Lord. The power that a man has over the devil is a power he don't even know it. <coughs> Stay away from women. <coughs> That's a power. It's a great power. Yeah, amen. Yet, you can have your own wife. Yes. Praise the Lord. But you won't take her to the heaven with you. You have that right down here only. Yes. Ain't it right, bro? <laughs> Brother, I was thinking, uh, what your husband's name? <laughs> Kimbo, right. I was saying, ain't that right, Brother Kimbo? <laughs> <laughs> you only have her down, only have her down here on earth, but when you get ready to go to heaven, you're going to be a break up. <laughs> finish. <laughs> finish. Free the Lord. And, and since you want to be married, y'all wait until y'all find a man that want to marry you. Because everybody that want to marry, some of you going to be single. When the Lord comes, some of you going to be single too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, praise the Lord. Yeah. Any way you bless me, Lord. Hey, pray. Amen. Any way you bless me, Lord. Lord. No hey, you see, see that you're not going to be married to nobody, amen. Good. Right, all things would go to good. To those that love the Lord, all things. Praise the Lord. Some men don't know the power they got. They think of a girl, a woman, 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 a woman. Man, come on. Get off that thing. Learn, get, get some strength, get some self, get some, some strength behind you. A woman. Man, that's not all in the world. I know what I know, I know what it means. I stop that myself. I want to know God. I want to know God, God's word. And I want to know God. That's how it got the strength I have. Praise the Lord. You get to know the devil then. You get to know him. The Lord will reveal him to you. Show you him. Show you the master ring he's been doing for a long time. Praise the Lord. All right. Any other verse? I'll be fishing the fish in the fourth. All right. And the tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. The tail drew the third part of heaven. And did cast them to the earth. And then cast them to earth. And the dragon stood before the woman. Which was ready to be delivered. Right. The dragon stood before the woman. Ready to, to, ready be, delivered. to be delivered. Right. right. For to devour her child right. as soon as it was born. And now, who is that child as soon as it was born and the devil stood before the woman? Jesus. Jesus, you were ready to kill Jesus when you were born. Mm -hmm. That's something that's something that bruise my head. Jesus did bruise his head. Mm -hmm. Jesus did bruise his head. Took his strength away. The power away. Yes. <coughs> Jesus ain't nothing to play with. Amen. Jesus ain't nothing to joke with. 
praise the Lord. That's why God chose Jesus. He knew Jesus would not break in any scripture. Would not let a scripture be broken. Jesus is powerful. God know Jesus would defeat the devil. I found the man, he found him, who is worthy. Who is worthy? Defeat the devil. I found him. A man that to my own heart. Jesus was the man. David, we thought David was the man, but Jesus was the man. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, David was oh, a man after God's own heart. David. David messed up. David messed up. Messed up his kingdom. He sinned and come short of the God is going. All men have sinned. Come short of the glory of God. But Jesus, Jesus didn't do no sin. He lived the righteous man, lived a righteous and holy, <clears throat> tempted in all points, but yet without Not sin. sin. <laughs> he bled on Calvary, he died for us. Mm -hmm. Die for the whole world. He died for us. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> we we cheated. We 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 cheated. We uh, we gambled. We did everything. Mm -hmm. We lied. We lied. I just I want before I got saved was just the biggest lie in time. <laughs> so pretty. <Lord. laughs> But thank be to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Give us the mercy. Yes. We found mercy in the sight of God through Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Because God so loved the world, He world. gave yes. something. Yes. He yes. gave His only begotten Son. Yes. He gave us something. Yes. While we yet sin, we, we yet sin, Christ died yes. for the ungodly. Yes. For the ungodly. Yes. Yes. Nobody here godly. <clears throat> Nobody in the church was godly. Christ died for you. Why you were yet ungodly. We came, that's why we came both. I guess sinner man. You got, I'm saved. He ain't saved. So what? He can't get saved. Just like you got saved. And the same God will save you. Just like you will save them. He can save them. We got, we got, we are saying we got to be very careful who we see about other people. Amen. Amen. Because you could be in that same life yourself. Amen. If God would bless you, the mercy of God bless you. So you thank God for blessing somebody else. But you can't boast against them. And they ain't saved. They need God. They need God. They need to be saved. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You have pity on that person. You said for that person being not saved. You're looking for that person to get saved and stay saved. Mm -hmm. That's where your mind should be. Not in boast in boasting about someone. I'm saved. That person is a sinner. Been a sinner. Dean Rump was a sinner too, but he didn't help you get saved. He prayed for you. Praise the Lord. I went out in the hallway. He talked to me. Good. But I listened to somebody who was supposed to be saved talking about him. And he didn't talk about me. He was saying, well, Digga Robert, Digga Robert, Digga Robert. He was saying Digga Robert, uh, Bishop Robinson did, did all this. And the man haven't done nothing. I went, I got off my knees, left my gift at the altar. I went out there and talked to Deacon Robinson. He said, bro, I'm so sorry. 
I didn't do that, but I'm, I'm sorry you thought that way about me, but I was so humble. I said, yes, this is the man, this, is he talking about to me? Yes, and with somebody real wise in the word of God, real wise in this word. <laughs> That's why I believe them, because we're real wise in this word. The devil is wise in this word. He knows the word from cover to cover, from Genesis to Revelation. The, the devil knows that. Don't you think the devil don't know God's word? Pray the Lord. The devil knows all that. He said several times in the it is written. He written. He told Jesus it is written. It is written. That was the devil told Jesus. <laughs> <Amen. laughs> All right. Oh yeah. The devil know it's a written. It's written. And that's why he cried to see. Amen. Because it's written. Because it's written. He know what do you don't know. What you don't know, the devil will take advantage of it until you get the knowledge. That's why you got to come to church. It's important to come to church. Not to pick at other people. Yes, sir. Not, not, not children be doing that. That's what children you do. All right? But you're an adult. Oh, he, he can't read. He don't know how to do this. He don't know how to do it. Well, praise the Lord. He don't know. But get in there and read for him. Help him out. Because what we going to, we, we, we are the one that take picking at people. Where are we going? Mm -hmm. The other place. That's right. <laughs> be careful. The Lord want us to be careful. Because <clears throat> they not. Because you may end up in that other place. And that person may be saved, humble enough. You get saved. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord, Bishop. I was just sitting there thinking, you know, the devil, he can shout. Yeah. He can, he can, he can shout. Right. He can, he can come to church. He can put a good act on. But it's one thing that old Slooper cannot do, and that's live right. That's right. Guys, you know, I said, you cannot live right. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You're always going to be messing up. <clears throat> okay. Amen. And, and preach too. Now, nah, <coughs> some, <coughs> some preachers, uh, they don't help. Man, sing, my Lord. What? <laughs> what it was some cold test means to sing in my house. <laughs> granddaddy, granddaddy just be singing, boy. Sing them girls down. <laughs> Man, granddad was something back in my day. My grandmother, my guy, I would like to see what they do, because you have left them a long time ago. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, says you got it. Yes. Next verse. 12. Verse 5. Yes. And she brought forth a man child. She brought forth a man child. Who was to rule all nations right. with a rod of iron. Jesus will rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was called up unto God right. and to his son. Unto his son. Right. 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 To, to his throne. Good. Thank you. Um, God is God. But he's going to rule the world. With iron rod. Yeah. Uh, the Bible say, uh, just, uh, uh, when we punish in the child, uh, you're going to whip, whip him. You're going to spare the rod. You're going to spare that child. Mm -hmm. I don't care how, how he looks. Oh, he so him. He's so him. Hi, little boy. <laughs> yeah, hi, little boy. Hey, I'm being jumped on you. <laughs> you gotta be careful.
couple. We got his can't spoil that child. I don't care what that child looks like. You got can't bear the rod. When that child is doing wrong, you got to uh, punish that child correctly. It's the right way to do a thing is the wrong way to do a thing. You got to do it correctly. The police don't put you in jail because you punish your child. Every time you want your child, the police to come. The police gonna put me in jail. That's your lie. They don't do that. They don't do that. You know, they just put you in jail just because you punch your child. Your child may need punching, and they may punch your child when you get them downtown. <laughs> That little bad fella, man. You may, you may have to do that too. I have to put it on it sometime. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Verse number six. Verse number six. And the woman fled into the wilderness. Now the woman fled into wilderness. Where she was going. Where she had a place for she was going God. With that place where God prepared for her. In Egypt, that's where she was going. <clears throat> Once you go into Egypt, mm -hmm. that's where you were taking the child. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. Amen. That's where she went. In Egypt. <clears throat> A lot of people went to Egypt. It was in Jerusalem. <clears throat> and there was there was they found refuge in Egypt. That's why God going to save Egypt. One day God going to save Egypt because he knew going to remember. My people were saved by Egypt. He went down to Egypt. Joseph went down to Egypt. And Jacob Jacob went down to Egypt and, and their corn was uh, were provided for them. Mm -hmm. And you were saved. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And God going to remember Egypt. You'll it, be two pillars in Egypt. On the border. And God going to save Egypt. Going to deliver them. Praise the Lord. That's why we can't well, well, they don't, they don't like the Jews. They don't like the Everybody's not that way. Yeah, everybody don't like the, this, the, uh, this like you. Yeah, that's a lot of people do, all right? But if somebody in Egypt don't, don't hate, they got, a, they got God, God's love. They buy in love with God. Yet there's Egyptians. All right, go on, go on to it. That they should feed her there. Yeah, right. A thousand two hundred and three scores days. Right, they should feed her there. Right. And there was a war in heaven. No, that was a war in heaven. Now, 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 why a war in heaven? That was a world war started in heaven with God. And they're going to finish with God in heaven. <clears throat> and Jesus is going to fight that war. Praise God. There was a war in heaven. Jesus wasn't there world wide around. A war in heaven. Now, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And dragon fought and his angels. And, and his angels. The dragon fought, fought and his angels. And, right. The dragon fought and his angels. The devil got an army too. Mm -hmm. The devil think the larger my army, the more I got to fight. Mm -hmm. The bigger my army is, the bigger it is. No, it's not. Don't ever believe that the devil got more uh, souls than in God. 
He wouldn't, don't have that. He got one third of the jelly hole and went against God with two thirds. That, that's that's stupid. That's ignorant. A gentleman would never do that. Because you don't have enough to fight against God. Fight against Michael and Gabriel. No, 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 no. Michael, the archangel, ain't nothing to break with. God gave him power. They fought against the devil, but the thing was, the devil fought against them, but. And prevailed not. And prevailed not. He come, came out of heaven falling like lightning, the Bible said. Like lightning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They throwed him out. <laughs> they right. They him out. So out of heaven. There was no room left for him. There was no place found in the morning. Yeah. God put him out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he going to fight against God. Mm -hmm. And God going to fight him alone. That's right. Hallelujah. God, the God ain't nothing to play with. Amen. Go tell Jesus, y'all stay back. Thank you, Jesus. And watch me. Now, yeah, you gotta stay back. Watch God. Because mm -hmm. the devil been after God for many years. Mm -hmm. But now, in eternity, the, see God gonna get the devil in eternity. That's the reason why the devil, why the Lord let him rest. I do what he's doing. What the Lord letting him do what he's doing. There's a reason why. All this killing and murder on the streets. Why the Lord let this devil do this? Why he don't put the devil away? He gonna do that. And we look out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You won't see the devil. In his time. Oh yeah, in his time. In eternity. That's we're gonna put the devil away. Because he will never get out. going to put him away in eternity. Because he put him away in time. he get out in time. Mm -hmm. But the Lord going to put him away in eternity. Mm -hmm. Won't never get out. Never. And he could be hiding from us. <laughs> and hell going to be hiding. Scared. To be seen. A man. Because the devil know God put this nation, this country, in the hands of men. Save men. Praise the Lord. The world's come. And the world to come, you think it's small, a small world? No. Because if for for throwing four square, it sits from Atlanta, Georgia. All the way to Mississippi. That's a long one. That's a lot of room. And that's a four square. One building. One building. Reek the clouds. Because reek the clouds. My, my, my. God, this thing, this thing. And that new world. We'd be lying in this way. The old world. But that will be lodging in this way. Do God is God small enough to sit on the throne, his own throne? No, he not. God is lodging in the throne. How you know the word of God says so? I told if I make my bed in hell. Where is thou? Thou art there. Thou art there. Mm -hmm. If I make my I fly to the middle of the sea, who is there? God, God, God is there. Yes. Come on with it. Yes. I, I don't care where you go. You can pray for God's presence. Yes. Anywhere you go, He's there. Uh -huh. And He's been here. Yes. You know the heaven? Don't you think the heaven is smaller than God? No. Heaven was earth with his footstool. Mm. Praise the Lord. Yeah, my, my, my. 
We got one foot on the earth. One foot. Mm. See, the word of God tells us that God is powerful. God is a powerful God. We shouldn't serve nobody. We shouldn't worship nobody but God. Amen. Thank God. And the Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Jesus will always be the Son of God. Yes. Always be. But not ahead of God. You can see that in Joseph. In Egypt. Mm -hmm. And behind the Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh put Joseph over everything. Over his kingdom. But, wait, himself, he didn't put Joseph over him. Because he had a king. Pharaoh is a king. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Ezekiel. All right. Oh, uh, Ezekiel. Yeah, that's right. Uh, 20, what? 28, 28, 13, and 19. Verses 14 and 19. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Had set me so. Mm -hmm. That I was upon the holy mountain of God. That was upon the holy mountain. This was sitting was in the on the, uh, the on the mountain of God. Mm -hmm. Thou has walked it up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Among the angels of heaven, they looked at him and glorified him. Mm -hmm. There's a more. More delicately, all the angels up in heaven. You want to be like him. Mm -hmm. Thou was perfect in thy ways. They were, he was perfect in his way. For the day that thou was created. Mm -hmm. And the day that thou was created. You were perfect. Mm -hmm. Until iniquity was found. Ah, until iniquity was found. In thee. Be careful. Don't get up, don't get uplifted because your brightness of what you can do. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful. Gotta stay humble. Yes. Yes. Stay yes. humble is the way. Yes. Humility. Humility, that's right, says. Humility is the way. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes. But when, the angel, when Lucifer thought he was somebody, he was nobody. Because God put him down. Just a walk, just, just a little while. Lord put any man down, down. who think he's somebody. We are nobody trying to be somebody. Trying to tell everybody about somebody that can heal everybody. Praise the Lord. Save everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Because that's somebody, Jesus. That's why God gave the name to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That name came from heaven. <coughs> Mary didn't name that baby. Mm -mm. Jesus. God had already named that baby Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thought about Jesus' name before he, Jesus was a child. Lord. Before he knew his mother. With the egg in the womb. Before he was the egg in the womb. God knew him. God already ordained him. Before his mother's womb, God already ordained him. Just like he already ordained these ministers up here. Y'all was already ordained. Uh, what's your mother's name? Elvinio. Elvinio. Well, pray the Lord. Before Elvinio got there, he got, he got right. So he came out. Before he got in there, God had already ordained you to be a preacher. She told it. She told it to Elvin. That was my daddy. That's your daddy. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, that baby will be a that baby will be a preacher. Sure. Yeah. Praise the Lord. 
That's what you turned out to be. Thank God for the revelation. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Yeah. I do every day. A lot of people say thank God for the same thing. Thank God for Mr. Brown. Yeah. Thank God. Mr. Brown. Thank God. Mr. Ellie Swell. And thank God for them. Them, amen. And the grace of God with the Father death. With the grace of God, follow them. And you can get to know God. Know his word. Yes. Ask for his word. Know God. Know the power of God. It might not be what you want to be, what you would say you're going to be, but that's all right. I thank God who I am today. Hey, amen. Praise the Lord. We don't have to be ignorant. Anyway, eager with God's word. We can know God's word. We can know God's word. He assures us. He give it to us liberty, or we is not. Yeah. yeah. All right. Verse 16. Yeah. By the multitude of thy merchandise. They have filled the midst of thee with violence. They kept the midst of thee with violence. Thou has sinned. Uh -huh. yeah. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. Right, out of the mountain. Out of the mountain of God. And I will destroy thee. And, and the devil was cast down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, say, he was cast down with like, it was just like, uh, Fire coming down to heaven. Lightning. Coming down out of heaven. Lightning. Coming down out of heaven. I always say, don't play with God. Don't play with God. No, don't play with God. God is nothing to play with. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Some people that use God's word in vain. Yes. That's your sin of man. Yeah. They hit the lottery, I thank God for hitting the lottery for life. You know. Stop that, stop that. That who God here and you will help you hit the lottery. Pay the numbers of and all week long. Cause you got a thousand dollars, you thinking, man, I, I, I hit the number, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit you hit the man, yeah. I got two in the front and two in the back. I don't care what you got in the front of what got in the back. <laughs> you, you, you still lying. God didn't help you do that. The devil did. Don't blame it on God. God don't have to do nothing evil. God don't bring the evil for nobody. God didn't kill nobody for you. I don't care if you are saved. Man, you don't know who you're messing with, man. God will get you, man. God will get you. What he, he going to get? What he going to get? Other than skip that bird to say, all right, that would be true. Be praying for the person to say, not for God to get them, Amen. do evil to them. You shouldn't do that. You say, woman, a say, man, you cannot do that because that individual that you think God going to get can be saved in the midst of your church. He or she. Yes. We got to know what we're talking about. We can't talk about how other preachers. Other preachers amen. That preacher, that post we've been talking about, that person doesn't even believe in it. That ain't the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Quit it. Well, yeah. that, that's another lie. He, he, but, but, he gonna, but he know more than you. Yeah, right. He's got a lot coming out of his mouth all the time. And then, then, then he will, you will believe what he said. Like, like, how, how left? Talk about a person that got a greater knowledge than him. You got, you got to realize what we're talking about. When you talk about you got less knowledge than him, and you said he got a knowledge. And don't you believe in a God? 
We need Jesus and God. No. <laughs> Don't have the right doctor, but yet to get on TV and say, well, no sister could be a minister. No sister could be a minister. How are you going to say that when the Bible says it, it can't be? A lot of these churches got the right doctor in that in terms. Praise the Lord. They got nuns. They got women of the church. Preachers. Teachers. I know what men say, but God didn't say that. So don't hold God guilty when he is innocent of your guilt. God, God, God is innocent of people's guilt. And we can't say that either. You can't speak behind other people. Don't know the truth. I, I said, I'm going to listen to this man myself. When I listen to the man, I said, he came up with Jesus is God. Yes, yes. I said, what? I, I know he didn't. From that point on, I know he, he didn't have the crew. Yes, yes. And then a man don't have no crew. He's going to tell me how to live holy, how to live right. <laughs> Come on. Yes. 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 You got to go on to perfection. Amen. We can't play with it. We got to go on to perfection. We got to do that. That's something we individually got to do. I got to get saved myself from this untoward generation. It's a wicked world. I got to get out of here. I got to get myself ready to get out of here. I can only save myself. My wife can save me. I love Sister Phil, but that, that, that love her don't save me one bit. Right. I got to save myself yes. from the untoward generation. The untoward God. You don't want nothing to do with God. Somebody, somebody do, but somebody don't. Bishop Phil, you have to save myself from me. Yeah, you got to save yourself from yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't see no, your kids, you can't see you. Uh, you can't see your kids because you're a minister. Save your kid. You can't do that. You got to get saved yourself. I got a job saving me. Yes. That's right. Yes, Don't take all you like to save you. Save me. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. and all, I got the same thing for me. Go to. I don't have no special heaven for me because I'm a minister, a bishop, don't have no, nothing special. God, God, because God don't have no respect of person. And God don't have. The Lord kill me just like I would do anybody else. That don't do right. You got to do right. Yes. And live. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. Right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the only thing we Keep me living right for God. Yes. God tell me how to live. I got to live just that way. Wait. Amen. Now, in case I don't get there, I'm striving to get there. I'm, I'm living to get there. I believe God will give me mercy. Amen. Yes. I will believe He'll take me to hell. I'm striving to do that. I, I, His word don't say that, but. I believe God would take me help. Amen, Bishop. You know, if I, I made it 99% all the way, I think you would do that. Praise the Lord. But I still lack something. If I lack a little bit, I think God would say, I'm striving lawfully. Lawfully. Long as I strive lawfully, I think the, the, the Holy God would save me. Thank you. Bless me. Through the Holy Ghost, he would help me out. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Uh, praise the Lord. I heard. Um, praise the Lord, everybody. I heard someone say just what you just said. That if you strive to live for that might not be all the way, you know. Right. But as long as I'm striving, doing that, which God is why I might that. make this sense. Yes. But yes. I'm striving and yes. doing that to straight right. yes. And yes. God will grab that Thank way. You. That's what they're saying. Now I, I believe it too. I believe it too. Yeah. Still may be falling short. I don't think saints can make them happen in a preacher life, but still, God really understands that you describe it. That's right. Right, lawfully. Yes, yes. And all that work you've been doing, you mean God will send you to hell? Thank you. You're going to save or you're not. <coughs> you say a lot of things. You get people saved. Go with the water call. A lot of things. Say to, to people. But get them saved. But at the same time, we can't lie to people. You got to tell me the truth. Amen. But it's God lawful. It's yes. God lawful. Mm -hmm. And you got, you got to get saved them day. You got to get saved tomorrow. No, no, no. That's not true. Because the Lord knows you got to work on these things. Mm -hmm. Lord knows you, you, you're not. Mm -hmm. You're still carnal minded. A saved person just getting, getting the Holy Ghost. He just got the Holy Ghost. He's carnal minded. Yes. Like Adam, carnal. They got, you got this, you got to scribe lawfully. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> All right. Bishop, I, I had a question about that. Like you said, you, you have to strive, strive lawfully. And you were saying that you believe God would accept us if we strive in lawfully. Then why do we have to be perfect? Well, I say this here. I, I say this here. You got to be perfect as you can be perfect. As you can come perfect. All right? For the things you know, if you came, came to be perfect in those things, you know. All right? I believe God will save you. You're striving lawfully. Well, what striving lawfully means? Mm -hmm. Striving lawfully? Mm -hmm. By the rules. But if what, God, what God said by the, by the rules. Mm -hmm. uh, he that made adultery mm -hmm. is wrong. All right? Um, a, a, a sinner doing that type of thing and continue to do the same thing over and over. No. 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 He, he just, you just kind of keep from going to hell. That's all he's doing. Just kind of keep from going to hell. That's all he's doing. You do it again, you do it again. No. No, no, no. You ain't striving lawfully. No. So even right. if we striving lawfully and, and doing what we know is right, if the Lord is if Jesus come and we got something, how will we make the rapture when we're when we're supposed to be perfect? How will we? I see, perfect in that which you know. Right, that's what I'm saying. If you, now, if you now, young, a young a young person in the Lord can't know what you know, so never. Mm -hmm. All right, you advance. You're right. You're a saint, advanced saint. You're not a, a carnal minded saint. You you. You were saved years ago, and this person just didn't say you were a few steps ahead of him, all right. But you're still striving to enter in at the straight gate, all right. You're still striving to get in at the straight gate. But if in case you don't get in at the straight gate, you're gonna look for God for mercy, all right. So, can you but can about, you make the rapture about, though? Yeah, you, yeah, I, I believe you can. I, the Bible don't say that. I, I, I won't say the Bible don't say it. But I'm saying I believe if I strive lawfully and I haven't made a uh, hundred, I haven't made I made even nine. I think the Lord would bless me with the grace. His grace is official. But who sets the number from whether it's going to be eighty nine or ninety nine? God will set that number. God, we, I, I say 80, maybe, maybe 90, but the thing is, whatever it is, 
I'm, I'm saying God would, is great. God's grace is efficient. All right. God's grace is efficient. All right. You see, it's efficient for you. God's grace. We're going to go, we're going to, we're going to go in, in and in heaven, most of us, by the grace of God. Amen. By the grace of God, we, we're going in and in heaven. We have, we're not going to be as perfect as, as man say we're going to be per perfect. I ain't going to say we can't be perfect. Right. We can be perfect according to God's word. But at the same time, the grace of God is going to help us. You sure? It happened us now. Yes, sir. So, Sister Deborah, when you asked the question about striving lawfully, and you mentioned that if if you did something and the rapture came, if you would make it, if you didn't con repent and confess that, then you're not striving yeah, lawfully. Love. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you confess it and repent, repent of it and confess it, that's the striving lawful. But if you, and that's why when you do the striving lawfully, you're going on to perfection. But if you don't do it, that means you're not striving lawfully. Because if you're striving lawfully, you would do what the Bible says and get it right. You see what I'm saying when you ask the question? If you do something and then it, the Lord comes and you're in that sinful state, then no. But if you're striving to get it right and repenting, then that's the lawful striving, to do and get it right. But if you just sit on it and don't do anything, that's not striving. No. Right. You know, when, in the Olympic, when they say that, that, like one of the team was running, mm -hmm. and they say you have to pass the baton mm -hmm. a certain way, and you don't do it, then, then they disqualify you. Yeah. And then there was another girl, lady, who she was too far down when the others were, were up here, she was trying to get the baton earlier, and the, the, the person was at the side and said, no, no, you have to go up, because mm -hmm. you're not striving lawfully, you want to get the edge over everybody else. So she mm -hmm. wasn't following the rules. Mm -hmm. So if you do something wrong, I beg your pardon? If you do something wrong, and you don't try to get it right, then you're not striving lawfully. Amen. But, but if, you, if you're striving lawfully, and you have something that you haven't corrected, and Jesus comes, how do you go? So the question is, why haven't you gotten it corrected? <laughs> that, no, that's a question. Yeah. Because if you were striving lawfully, you wouldn't let the sun go down on that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't fix it. But after 15 years, you know, after 10 months, after 19 days, that means you're not striving lawfully. And so you shouldn't have that there. You should have got rid of it like the way to communion and get it right. Nah. So that's the striving lawful. Right. We didn't we didn't have communion this year. You mean since this year you haven't you haven't took communion since I haven't took communion. I went I went away all this while you have sinned and never took communion. Never came and say, Bishop Phil, I did wrong. I, I have to do that often. And when I when I do that to my wife, I have to do that. When I do that to my children, I have to do that. Don't matter how old they are. Don't make it right. The bishop went to his children and told them, make sure y'all have to forgive me. Forgive me. If, if, don't, don't make me in little. Make me little. Make me bigger to them. I can I can I can repent to my truth. Yes, I can. When I do my kids' room, I gotta do right by them by repenting mm -hmm. before God. I gotta get it right. I can't wait till communion time come. You know, I gotta wait. Wait, wow. Gee, we got kids came out of convention. We we didn't have communion. <laughs> you know what we we gonna do the rest of the year? We gonna die. Mm -hmm. Yes, come. Mm -hmm. See, somebody told me we can wait till we till we have communion. <laughs> well, you no, know, you, when you when you sin, get it right then. Amen. Straighten it out. 
How many times God got to wait on us? You get it right. Mercy will not always be there. Mercy will not always going to be there for you. Amen. We got to get it right now. Got to get it straight now. I got, I, I, I got upset with my sister. I got to get it right now. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. I got to get it right. Yes. Praise the Lord. And you can get it right. Amen. God gave you enough time to get it right. Yes. yes. But people with pride hold you back. Yes. Most times pride holds you back. Yes. And that can come up come to be the fall of mankind. Yes. Pride. Mm -hmm. Who my, who I, my reputation in that state? Man, put aside reputation. Get it right. Amen. The thing is, I can I get it right? Get it right. Mm -hmm. I, if I have to get it right, I'm a preacher and a bishop. If I got to get it right to get to heaven, Amen. you are a member of the church. Do you got to get right on your all soul? Amen. Amen. Yes. That's right. God don't have no respecting person. <laughs> Heaven is not made for Bishop Phillips. Just made for me only. As long as I'm striving to do that which is right, what Elder Sewell said. Mm -hmm. To do that which is right. I fell on them. I fall, I, uh, when I was over, I fell on the mercy of the court. court. I got mercy. Yes. All right. The court let me go. But yet I did wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet I did. Is the court more righteous than God? No. 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 Yes. You still got a good right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. A repentance is still getting the right. Thank you. Pray the Lord. That's in the Bible for, yes. for us to repent. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I was thinking along the same thing how God made provision as Elder was saying too. I thought I'd come to my mind that when we become saved, all of our sins are washed away and we are put back in that state almost like in the garden. Right. But God leave us with that flesh to overcome the desires and the deeds of the flesh. But mm -hmm. when we got saved, Bishop, when you say all of our sins, we were put in that state of we have to overcome what is in our flesh. And I was thinking how he put us back in that state before Adam and Eve sinned. He cleansed right. us, all our sins washed away. Right. But he leave us down here with this flesh mm -hmm. to overcome what is inside of us. That's right. And thank you, Lord. And you do it. And how we made provision through the confession. Right. That, so that... I was, I was just reading a scripture recently. It was saying, they that be filthy, let them be filthy still. Right. And they that are righteous, be yeah. righteous right. still. So yeah. would you say that we have to be ready like the ten virgins? We have to be ready. Right. We don't you know. got to be ready. You got to be ready. But, but the Lord made provision that if right. we do sin, but, we don't have yeah, we, we strive, we strive lawfully. Yes, sir. Hard. And yet we're not there yet. we got to look to God. Carrots the rest, the rest of the way. Maybe when uh, ninety percent all the way, but the not ten percent. God would give the other ten. Mm -hmm. He will meet us with that grace. Thank you, Lord. Right, because gonna be gonna be some saved people. It's not there yet. Amen. Everybody gotta be perfect. No. No. Mm -hmm. All right, we can live perfect, not in sin. All right, but they don't say we not working on who we got to work on. Mm -hmm. We got to work on ourselves. Got to work on yourself. Amen. I got to work on myself. Because we all have like I was thinking, Bishop, we all have shortcomings. Yeah, we all have shortcomings, right? And we're, right. We're, we're like you said, we're striving to be perfect. We're striving to be perfect. And right. the Lord knows we're going to make mistakes. Sure. And when we do make these mistakes, we get it right. A little bit like Elder Sewell said. You don't sit there and wide away and then right. have the sin building and building and building, building, building and building. And that was this big old infection right. where, you know, we're just just messed up. But right. we're, we all have our shortcomings, shortcomings. But we still have to still live holy. Right. Because, you know, the Bible says after the Holy Ghost come upon us, 
we shall receive power. Right. But the Lord knows we're still going to make these mistakes. But when we make these mistakes, we get it right. We, that's it. Got to get it right. When you confess, got it right. Praise the Lord. You got it right. Praise the Lord. So, Bishop, if you, when something happens, if you take care of it right then, aren't you in the perfect state? Yeah. So then why do you need the, why do you need the extra mercy? Or the extra grace. Why do you need that? Extra grace. Like you made the All right. You know, you got to be a hundred. We say, uh, you got to make a hundred, ninety seven. Won't do something like that. Ninety nine and a half. half won't do. Right. Um, but you got to make a hundred. Who said that? The one that wrote that song? All right. Or, and that was, that was, I want our sisters and you are going to go to the church. Read that song, all right? Sister Cox, you should write wrote that song years ago. Now, uh, even Sister Cox who wrote the song, maybe she had maybe she had a problem that she hadn't got over yet. Alright. Um so she had to look for the mercy of God also. You know, all those you wrote this song. All right? So, it may not be 99. It might be 10%. You got to do it. Uh, and 90, you know. Uh, you got to come up to 90% in that thing that you had to overcome. You got to look for God's mercy. mercy. I, I, I would look for God's mercy God's all the time. God's mercy. I, I would look for man's mercy. Amen. Man's mercy is not God's mercy. That's it. That's it. Man will condemn you to death, mm -hmm. and through God, you will get mercy. Yes. Find mercy. Like a promise could son. Did he find mercy? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, he did. Yes, he did. Well, Bishop, I'm sorry. I'm, right. I'm, I'm, where I'm getting stuck at is when you, when a situation comes up, and because you're striving lawfully, you take care of that thing so it's not there anymore. So if another something comes up and the Lord comes before you take care of it, mm -hmm. how do you how do you make the rapture when we're saying no sin is going up there and you won't you won't even be caught up because I you won't, won't no sin be going up there. So if you gotta you, when you <laughs> repent, when you repent, mm -hmm. all your sins are washed away. Right, 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 right. So yeah, right, right. So what? So you're perfect right then. Right. All right. You may have to strive, and if the Lord allow you to live, right. Lord, live, Lord allow you to live uh, two days, and you may die within that two days. Mm -hmm. Amen. You were perfect, but yet you were striving. All right. You still were working on something. But as long as you have not sinned at that time, you are all right. You are all right then. Because you have, you have confessed it, your sins. And God has forgiven you. So, so is it like you. if you had, let's say you had a problem with, you were struggling with drinking. Right. You know, like I say, but that still like creeps up on you. So you're saying, even though you struggle with that, and sometimes that thing tries to get a hold of you, if you have confessed it and didn't take that drink before Jesus comes, you can make it to heaven. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you, you can't, can't make it. You know, long as you haven't drunk it. You know, as long as you haven't drank that booze or whatever. So whatever you strive you, you with. Be, you may be striving against it. But as long as you have not done it, all right, so as long as you strive it and right. that thing, whatever the thing is, right. heaven yeah, got you yeah, at that you time. Give you. But then aren't you perfect? No, you see, perfect is not like man, what man, what man call perfect. What man call per perfect. Man will, never, man will never find you perfect. They will never find you perfect. But you can't be perfect with God. God weighs it higher. Right, it weighs it. But it weighs about God. It's higher than It's higher than our way. Even what you think. And, uh, right, even what you think. 
Right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, as I'm listening to her, but I want to say this here. My mother, Angela Speedy, she will come back to the church and she will leave. And she left several times. All right? Not that she was in the world, but she would get upset and she would leave. The last time she came back, Bishop told Bishop that we took to church, he wasn't going to take her back. He was not going to take advantage of Speedy back. But you know what? He, the Lord dealt with him. He said, he said take advantage of Speedy back. Not too long after that, my mother passed. Mm. You see God's mercy? That's God's mercy. That's God's mercy. Because he right. could have said no. Yes. And left it as no. But he said God <laughs> dealt with him to take advantage of his back. And yes. not too long after that, my mother passed. Mm. And that was God's mercy. To allow yes. her to get back. That was, that was God's that was, mercy. I know it was. Because he said he wasn't going to do it. He told the church. She don't left so many times. He was not going to do it. But he didn't know she was going to pass. But he said the Lord dealt with him. And say, take her back. Mm. And when he did, not too long after that, she passed. God mercy. Mm. You're right. That's, that's God's mercy. <laughs> you know, uh, like I say, when it comes down to man, right. you would never be perfect with man, mankind. Because somebody, you were the enemy of somebody. Because you were a friend of Jesus. Mm. You was a daughter. All right? Mm. But you recognize who Jesus you see, all men is going to hate you for my name's sake. Okay. Mm -hmm. All men. Yes. If an unsaved man is going to hate you. So, you got to understand when it comes thank, thank, thanks to God, God will have mercy on you. Yes, He will. He will save you if you want to be saved. Yes, yes He will. If you have a desire to be saved, God will save you. Yes. God will not want to let you hang out there and die. No. That the God I, I serve, right. you yes. serve. Yes. 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 There you go. He's not unrighteous. Yes. unrighteous. Yes. Like the man, man is unrighteous. Yes. Yes. The law is unrighteous. Yes. Cause the law, cause the man to make the law is righteous all the time. No. <clears throat> Don't always be righteous. Yes. Cause the man make a law. Because you write down, you don't make it right. God's word is right. Yeah. And please ask the Lord what? To give him. Remember me, no? Sir, you mm -hmm. remember me mm -hmm. when you come to the kingdom. kingdom. Jesus didn't ask him nothing about no sin. Mm -hmm. He yeah. said, today. You mean paradise? That's right. <clears throat> right. This day. Amen. And that, that one, the day. That Jesus one, you took, 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 took three days before you went. Amen. Uh because -huh. <laughs> that day Jesus went to hell. You're right. That like Jesus went to hell that first day. You're right. God, God, God is a good God. God is yes, a good God. He's a gracious God. Yes, he is. All right. Yes, he is. God is gracious. gracious. You know? He remembers us. When we call, he will remember his second child when we call. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And God understand that we have problems. Mm -hmm. uh, I know years ago, a man had to be this, that, safe, safe. And half of those brothers went safe. <laughs> they were just lying. They were ministers who were living a lie. Just for them. Just for the box. You know, we got to, we, we got to be careful who we follow. Who we follow. Follow. Some people say, nah, I won't follow him, I won't follow her. But, be careful. Because that's the one you may have to follow. Because years ago, nobody sinned. Nobody sinned. Nobody had a problem in the church. Do you believe that? Come on. No, I don't believe it right now. Nobody. Come on. Come on. People had problems back then. And they got problems right now. Yes, Amen. Amen. 
If God would a mock a nigga to you, who would be saved right now? Right now, who would be saved right now when God mock a nigga to you? Yes, Lord. All right, I'm going to finish up here real quick. Uh, uh, Bishop. Uh, one, one more. One more. Bishop. Yeah. I need to ask a question. Um, well, what is the purpose of G uh, Jesus? He died on the cross for us. And we, after we repent and we're baptized in Jesus' name and filled up with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and the evidence of speaking in tongues, then we're supposed to live a life free and separated from sin. Mm -hmm. So what would be the, you said about a 90% mm -hmm. and a 10%. Yeah. I yeah. need to get the clarity uh, of that. Yeah. You got to strive. You got to strive. You got to be willing to do that. But you're not willing to do that and go months and months without with a confession and go months and months without that. You're not striving lawfully. No. You know, you're not striving lawfully. Why have you not repented by now? That's God will, That's God will give every one of us a chance. Yes, is. Amen. God is not unrighteous. God is not unrighteous. Okay. He's righteous. I got it now. So, we got to do the right thing while he gave us a chance. Thank you. All right. Praise the Lord. It's best to call me at night. Wake me up. In the middle of the night. Bishop. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I repent. All right. Uh -huh. I'm, 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 you you, you repent to me, you repent to God. Amen. See, so many times you got to repent to the pastor. Repent, repent to. You already repent. You know, to God. But. Got to tell me as a witness, but yeah, you can do that. Praise the Lord. But you were already prayed to God, and God knows that. Before you dial that number, you already done that in your heart, in your head, in your heart. Praise the Lord. And you're in the process of making a phone call, and you die. God knows you would do that. God knows. God knows things before you even know it. Amen. All right. Amen. God is unjust, not unjust. Amen. God is just. Amen. Right. God is just. You know, we have to, we have to, we have to believe God's word. Yes. God knows we're going to call in some act. Yes. Yes. God knows that. Mm -hmm. But not unintentionally doing wrong and That's continue right. to do yes. wrong. Right. You know? Yes. yes. Yeah, we continue to sing that grace. Mm -hmm. God yes, be it. Right. Mm -hmm. Shall we continue to sing that grace? Yes, yes, God forbid yes, 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 that. Yes, 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 we can't live in sin. Thank you, Lord. All right. Yeah, uh, all right. I think. The last one is Ephesians 6 and 10. I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. 6 and 10? That's it. That's your last picture. Oh, 16 10. What did that say? Find my brother. Find my brother. That's what you want us to read now. Right. Finally, my brother. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Give him a chance to get it. All right. All the impressive thing is easy. It's not. I'm going to tell y'all right now. It's not. You just can't put it off the shelf and everything will be ordered. Everything will be, order. everything will be nice. If it wasn't nice for Bishop Eddie, it ain't going to be nice for me. Praise the Lord. Don't think I'm even greater than Bishop Eddie. I'm not. I, Bishop Eddie made mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to do that with you, right? Amen. Amen. My motivation is to do that which is right. Yes. 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 That's yes. my motivation. Yes. But my ignorance, I may not know the right thing. Yes. I'm trying. 
Help me out. I need some help. I'm not ashamed to ask for help. Is that help me? Help me to make it in. I need help to make it in. I, I need help. I thank God for every one of you. Y'all have helped me when I was sick. And now my mind is coming back. Everything coming back to me now. But uh, I, I thank God. And I thank God for you too. Y'all have to be patient with me, and I, I will be patient with y'all. Amen. I don't put I don't put nobody out of the church. That individual has to put himself out. Amen. That bitch you just say that individual got to put themselves out. I don't put nobody out of the church. I'm not in that that powerful. God will separate. God will. Amen. He from the terror. Yes. You would do that. Yes. You look around that person, gone. Because <laughs> they're not doing the right thing. All right. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Yes. Finally, my brother. Finally, my brother. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. Yes. Put wait, on the what, whole armor of God. Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait back being strong in the power of his might. What does that mean? What does that mean? In the power of his might. The strength. Mm -hmm. God's strength. Jesus' strength. Yes. Holy Ghost. Thank you. Holy Ghost power. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh yes. You talking okay. to power? Yes. You got the power. Right. Come on here. Praise the Lord. Do you, you got the Holy Ghost? Yes, I got the Holy Ghost. Yes, you got the power. Got the power. <laughs> Use it. Use it. I like that. Use it. Yes. Don't be keeping being whooped by the devil. Yeah, right. You have to be. You have to feel that devil. Jesus. Don't don't say nothing about the devil because he's gonna come and get you. He's gonna come and get me. He can come and get me. The devil can't do nothing to you. I say of God and let the God allow him to do it. You can't get permission from God to do it. And God will not let you be tempted above the measure. God will let you be tempted by your measure. Both of God let you be tempted above your measure. Don't, don't talk stupid. God, in word saying, will not let none tempt you above you, your mentor. He ain't going to do that. You are way too risky. Right, he won't do that. He won't let temptation come call you that you can not handle it. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Well, I suppose you could make a good thing. What about I will? Why, why, we don't, why we don't say the... Uh, Upstairs there about the uh, uh, pledge. Huh? pledge, right, the pledge. Quit. We made it under the pledge. Bishop the Bailey didn't make the pledge up. We did. We did. We put it together. Amen. What's wrong with the pledge? Thank you. Nothing. Nothing. Every leader in the church should say the pledge. Don't don't sit back and don't, don't say the pledge. That's it's holy. We made it up. Yes. Yes. Uh, Bishop Big helped us, but at the same time, he didn't do, do the pledge himself. No, we put it together and we don't say the pledge. Uh -huh. think, you got to think, 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 think what you're doing. Thank you, Lord. Don't, don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant. God is not in the ignorant. No, we shouldn't be. His children shouldn't be. No. I want that pledge as Bible. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I pledge you need to God. Don't you do that? Yes, yes we do. Yes. Who is going to who you going to pledge allegiance to? I pledge you to the United States of America. Fits <laughs> with our citizenship in heaven. Well, right, yeah, yeah, you are a citizenship in heaven. See, we gotta think. We got we gotta be able to think. We can't. I, I'm not gonna say the pledge of I'm not gonna say the pledge of to God. Uh, who who got 
think we can say prayer, prayer leads it too. Mm. Gotta be God. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Put on the whole arm of God. Oh, yeah. Verse 10. Yes, sister. Praise the Lord, Bishop. I have not been saying the pledge. And um, when I read in Matthew chapter 5, and the Lord said, um, and read, this is the reason why I don't say pledge, not out of disobedience, mm -hmm. but he says, swear not at all. He says, mm -hmm. um, no. Uh, maybe I, I, mean, I, I could get an understanding of it. See, I, sit, sit, I'm right now, I'll stop you right here. Yeah. Because I really haven't gotten much time. But the thing is, the Pledge of Allegiance to God, which is standing with, with, with God, all right, and His, and his Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ. who is the head of the church. Jesus is the head of the church. The Bible says Jesus is the head of the church. That's the Word of God, all right? And we do, we, uh, we do pledge our allegiance to God. We, do, we, we ain't talking about to somebody else. We're talking about to God. The head of the universe. God is the head of the universe. So, he may have an error. So, he did these things. So, we pray to lead to God. Our allegiance to God, not the United States of America. And to the Republic. God has no Republic, you know, which is there. That, that, that is for this country. All right. But at the same time, we talk about to God. We understand to God. To God be the glory. Right? Oh. I, 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 I don't have no problem with that. I don't have no more problem. No saint should have no problem with that. I'm just telling you. No saint should have any problem with that. Uh, it's all about our understanding of what you're saying. All that getting, get an understanding. All right? Everybody don't have an understanding. All right? Right now, with that thing, you don't have an understanding of it. But you won't be wrong if you sit and pledge. You won't be wrong. Uh, Elder Suel said that many a time he said the pledge on, on the pulpit. Many a time he said that. Uh, and it, his explanation was right. All right? The explanation was right. Uh, what did you say, Elder? You don't have to say it, but you have to live it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I got it. You got, you got to live it. Because if you're not living what that's on that, Come on. You're, you're lost. Amen. So Come on. even if you don't say, the life that you project have to say. And we can take up Matthew chapter 5, verse 33. We, you know, why don't you bring that up so we can teach it at another Bible class on Tuesday night? Yes, sir. As to what swearing mean and don't forswear, because back in the days when you forswear, it is binding upon you. And what they were doing is swearing but not keeping it. And that's why Bishop I stopped the pledge. Bishop Bailey. So people were pledging money and not keeping it. And that way they'll sin because if you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it, then you have sinned. That's why when 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 when, when Joshua was going across Jordan and the tribe of Benjamin says, We're not gonna go across. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to stay on this side. And Joshua said, no, you need to come and fight with us. And they said, yes, we will fight and conquer the enemy over Canaan. But when we're done, we're coming back. And then the scripture came in that says, if you fail to do what you're going to do, say you're going to do, behold, you have sinned and your sin will find you out. Mm -hmm. That's what that scripture meat was pertaining. Hold on. Or it's pertaining to because if you say you're gonna do something, do it, and that's what it says in Matthew. You know, so they were doing, they were swearing, and not keeping this, the vows. So we can teach that another Bible class, not this one. Right. <clears throat> we can break it down. So let's you and I get together and we can talk. And we can. All right, sis. All right. Well, question. Good question. Very good question. Right. It was. It really was a good question. All right.
But God is good. All right. Uh, assist. We'll finish. I was wondering when some people say I give honor to God until the son Jesus Christ, is that almost the same as pledging allegiance? Like for preachers, preachers, uh, they say right. I, I give honor, 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 honor to God and Jesus so Christ. Need to hit him my life, that's fine. But I mean, it's the same thing as saying that to me, right. as saying to like, I don't see what the difference you're right. is. You're right, you're right, you're right, sis, you're right. You know, you're honorable, honorable. Okay, great, what does that Bible say? <coughs> and, and, and also, the, 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 the Lord's Prayer, when it says, first thing says what? Well, our Father, which art in heaven. What? Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. That's honoring God. God. That is the honor that you're giving to him. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. No, because we always, we always wish you a lot of money. Means holy bishop. Take your kids up to Halloween. Uh, we, we don't do that. Bishop you know? yeah. means holy. Holy, yeah. Holy. Holy. Right. <clears throat> it's, it's a whole lot of things we uh we do. It's wrong. And as we learn these things, we should do that, which is right. Praise <coughs> God. We just should not just, I'm not going to say that. I don't say a vow. I don't say I don't do that. But uh, it depends what the vow for. As long as you keep it. That's the only thing. As long as you keep it. Uh, you made a vow and you don't keep it. No, that's wrong. But if you go keep the vow, mm -hmm. you, make, you make a vow, you got to keep it. And, and there are times, Bishop, we say that we don't, but, you know, some people say that. And I ask them, do you have a mortgage? They're like, yes. You sign that paper, you make a promise, you make a vow. And right. you're going to do that. You have a credit card? You make a pledge that you're going to honor that. Do you have a car note? Yes, you do. So in signing that, it's the same thing. So when you go to court, they're going to say, you promise to pay that money. So... But I understand where she's coming from. Yes, I'm yeah, good. That's good. Pray for God. May God bless you, saints. Amen. Thank the Lord for y'all tonight. Amen. 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 And we didn't we, we learn anything, we, we learned with the, the night uh, what we can do, all right? Yes. And sometimes it, making a pledge is so simple, uh, a car note, it, things like that, people who pay up. Marriage. Marriage is another one. A lot of people... A lot of people don't want to be married. They don't want to be wife. They don't want to be husband. All right? They don't want to be children. You know, a lot of people say a lot of things and they, they don't do it. You know? Uh, and just not talking about us in particular. Uh, but uh, concerning holiness, holiness is right. Praise the Lord. Holiness is right. Somebody, somebody said, Holy, I, I don't believe in holiness. Well, you, you, the Bible says, holiness is right. So, read the Bible. Read the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Be holy. Be holy. Oh, uh, Elvis Sue. Uh, yeah. I got to go up and say something. I don't have to say anything. So, Bishop. Yes. Yeah. Ask a, no, I'm not calling you the same. I was referring to you. Bishop, uh, you know, somebody asked a question, and Bishop mentioned it. Why did God allow the devil to still be out? Uh -huh. I mean, we never answered that one. Yeah. I didn't. That's all right, Bishop. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, it came back to the question. Bishop, what Sister Lucine said, after you got saved, then you get went back to the stage of where you were when we were when man was in the garden, right? 
No sin, everything was there. But what was in the garden? What? What was in the garden? Not a tree. What was the question that Bishop didn't answer? Why did who? Are you paying attention? Are you the question? The Bishop would say, why did God let the devil be out there? Lucifer Luc 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 be out free. Down here. Down here, yeah. I just went over your head. Turn. Huh? Why? Because it's turn. He said something about like time. Yeah, he talked about the time. But, but, but what else is the main reason? That means what? God's in control. We have to choose. That's exactly what happened in the garden. God could have not allowed the devil to go into the garden of Eden. Right. But at that point in time, would man have just gone about when he have chosen God? Adam chose the sin. And it's the same thing happening with us now. Yes, Sister Lucy, when you brought it up, I was going to say something, but I didn't. I didn't want to be real with it by the class. But now that you said that, and I'm here to talk, I'm supposed to talk for you. The devil is still out. And now we are still at that stage as if we are in the garden. Still have to make what? Choice. We have to make a choice whether we are going to obey God mm -hmm. or do what? Or go or disobey God. Right. There's going to come a point in time where the devil is going to be put away where that choice is not going to be there. Because the man of sin is going to be put away during that thousand years. So those, somebody asked me that, some, those who were born during that time are going to live a hundred years and be blessed. Mm -hmm. Because the, the tempter is not there. But those who go in, as it says in the book of Isaiah, are going to go into that 100 years. Mm -hmm. But they're going to carry that sinful nature in them and they're going to be cursed. But when that man is put away, then there is not going to be any temptation because he's going to be bound. So the time is coming for that. But God is still putting it before us. Who are you going to choose? If there was no heaven, would we still live right? What? Okay. It's okay. Sister Iris is saying that for your night. But I'm supposed to come up and say some things about that. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. So that's, that's the one thing I always wanted to say when Bishop said that. But it's time is going to be about bring about the change, as he said. But when the time comes, he's going to be put away. And then, you see, even now, don't think that devil is just running free like he wants to. Be. He's still subjected to God. He's still subjected to God. Some people think the devil is just ruling everything. God placed him over as the prince of the power of the earth, but he's still subjected to God. So we have to know that and remember that. So time will be more change. Amen. Amen. All right.